Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. And in this episode, we're going to work on scarfing our cedar strips for this Freedom 17 canoe that we're currently building. There are already five or six video episodes of this canoe build, but I feel like this uh, episode in particular on scarfing may be of uh, interest to a lot of boat builders, not even just canoe builders. Uh, a, lo a lot of boats uh, that are built with planks or strips uh, require scarfing because sometimes it's difficult to get lumber that's long enough for what you need. So in this video, I'm going to show a couple of different ways I've been working on this over the last week or so. And quite honestly, the little uh, simple hand uh, planing and scarfing jig is still a bit of a work in progress. Uh, but anyway, I show how to use that and with some clamps and a plane and sanding, just go ahead and do some by hand. I found this kind of time consuming. So I'm also, uh, I've made another jig that I can use on the table saw. Uh, and this is much quicker and gets a bulk of the material off, uh, but then we can go ahead and, and fine tune or touch those up if we need to. Also, I have a nifty, simple little uh, jig that I'm using for gluing the strips together once I have the, the cuts made. So anyway, we're gonna uh, explore all of that in this video and uh, uh, hopefully it'll be a help to someone. Uh, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, you might click the little bell down below and uh, you can get notifications on future videos when those come out. But uh, anyway, let's jump in and see how we can scarf some strips. Okay, so one way you can do these scarfs is with just making a little simple uh, jig and planing them down. So I've got two pieces of birch here. They're actually off of the same board. I cut them just a little better than two inches wide this way. And then I've got the same bevel on here, cut on here, and I just did this on the bandsaw. So these are equal bevels. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it down here on the bench, load my strips in. I'm gonna do two at a time because I want them to be the exact same so that when I go to glue them together, um, we should be right. So I'm gonna put them right on the edge of where it starts to go down there. And then I'm just gonna clamp this other one right on top of here. Get them straight is the biggest thing. And that's part of why I have these boards two inches wide because the strips fit right in there. I'm using one inch strips, at least for now. Um, so you kind of got to judge that. You see it's coming back here to where it starts to come down and you got it right there. So I'm thinking that's probably giving me a good bevel just like that. And then I'm going to take these clamps and come in here and just clamp it right onto the bench. Just like that. Probably could use a better clamp than this one, but it should hold it. Um, especially back here in the back. Just kind of make sure they're lined up right. And then take the plane and just start taking those ends off of there. Oh, but it slipped out of there. We're gonna clamp that all the way back here. You know what, I think I'm gonna use this little sure form plane. I think it'll take off faster. At a point, that plane's gonna be right on line with the, my two pieces of hardwood, right like that.
So you get the idea and at a point, take and just start sanding it. I feel like I need to pull it back just a little bit more. Okay, so you watch me struggle with this and there's quite a bit to setting this up. But I finally got these to where I want them, to where they're pretty, pretty smooth. So this will work. Now this took me, oh, better than 10 minutes to do these two. And I don't have a whole lot of strips that are 18 feet, which is what I need. I got a lot of 16, eight, and 12, even some 10. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, scarfing a lot of these together. So I've come up with a different idea and do it on the table saw. So I built a jig, we'll go take a look at that and I can knock out at least the really rough part of this uh, much faster than this. So we'll go over there and take a look at that. Okay, so doing them by hand takes a long time. So I came up with this other little answer and that's using this jig to um, cut them on the table saw. It's just plywood with a one by, that's probably one by eight, just a scrap I had laying around. I cut holes in it with the keyhole saw. And I ended up gluing this on the back of it. And this is pretty straight, but it's at this angle. Got a, a runner in here to go in the table saw, so I know I'm exactly in the right spot. To put it on there, get your strip lined up on there, and then just run it through there. Now, it's important to get the strip right at the edge of where you want the scarf to start, like right there. Because otherwise, it'll try to grab onto it. And we don't want that. So we're gonna put it right there. We're gonna clamp it down. And I even got a little clamp for back here in the back. Might be overkill. You want to make sure you're flush on the bottom so you know you're going to get a straight cut. And I actually taped the front end of this just to help hold it secure. And then when you come into your jig, you don't want to go very far. You'll get into your into your hole in your clamp. But you got to go far enough that uh, the end of your your cut is straight up and down on the strip. So let's take this through here and see. Wear your safety equipment anytime you're doing something with this close to work on a table saw, it's dangerous. I got goggles on. <laughs> Feather, it's feather smooth on the end, but I can touch that up with the, with the plane on that other little jig that I was using. It'll be a lot faster and a lot more uniform than doing all, every single one of them by hand. All right, let's go see how we glue them up. Okay, so here's a couple that I did uh, last night. So they've been, this glue's been drying. And I made a little, a little jig here. We'll look at it in a second once we get these off of here. But this one now, I've got 18 foot strips glued up now. And so I'm just using these little smaller plastic clamps are strong enough to hold it. And wax paper to keep the glue from sticking or from gluing yourself to your mold. And there we are. And this is reusable. You use these over and over and over again. Then I've got some on the back side. Same deal, more wax paper. Now that's a bit of an ugly scarf right there, but that'll touch up pretty easy with the plane and the sander. This one came out considerably better. I'm really good with that. Really nice. 
whole thing fell off the table 18 feet down the way. This is just a simple little jig that I made so that I can do two at once. So this thing's about oh two and three quarter inches wide with a little piece of pine, a little piece of one by pine down here and I just glued it on there. I put some feet on here so that, so that my clamps will go in there like that. And um, I've got enough of a straight edge here that when I put the two strips together, um, they, they should be able to line up on there. I'll go get the two I just did. Okay, so here, here's this, this pair that I just did over there by hand on the, when I was with the plane and the sanding. And so you put them on here, and I see it's, they're not straight. And that one obviously is going to go like that. And you basically just try to get a, a good idea right where they go, like that. And then I mark a line with a pencil, which I've lost. I mark a line with a pencil right on there where the scarf is just almost exactly right. And you can kind of pick it up and look at it and see if it looks like if it looks like they're going together right. And if these aren't perfectly feathered, that's okay, because you can sand that out later, but you just try to get it as close there as you can. Draw a little pencil line on there, because once you apply your glue, you're not gonna be able to see it. So put it on there, and I've got it marked where the center is. Go ahead, and oh, you wanna put your wax paper in here, just like that. And then go ahead and clamp this down and push it up Push it up tight against this board so you know you're straight. See, there we that's a little better. That's pretty straight. Then put your glue on. And I just kind of rub it on both sides. I've drawn a line. I don't have it on there, but I would draw a line with pencil right on there so I know how far this goes up here. Put my glue together. Glue it. Push it up against the side here so it's tight up against this. Another clamp back here. Fold my, fold my wax paper over, clamp that, and let it sit. Easy as that. And then I can do it on the back side too. That's, I made this specifically so I can do two at a time. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.